Let's get busy with Busy. She stars in the comedy series Girls 5 Eva. I just like saying that, produced by Tina Fey. So you know it's good. It follows members of a late 90s girl group who reunite to give their pop star dreams another chance. In this clip from the new season three, Philip's character, Summer is her name, tries to make extra money while the group is on tour. I Googled make money fast, who am I, needs validation, and I found this incredible business opportunity to be your own girl boss. I'm gonna be a CEO. Of what? Selling tooth whitening gummies. Summer, that sounds like a multi-level. Marketing scam, they said that you'd say that. Impressive, right? <laughs> First on CBS so Morning's good. Busy Phillips. I know, it's really, it's so goofy, it's hilarious. Billy, Busy Phillips joins us here in the studio. Congratulations Thank to you, you guys. Yes. Because listen, it started on Peacock, yes. and then it was let go, and then Netflix picked it up. So it's like you got a second chance. What did you think when that happened? First one, it was canceled. Of course, that's a bummer. And then you hear it's picked up again. Yeah, well, it was all sort of happening at the same time. And I think that the feeling among all of us, and Tina Fey was calling us constantly and keeping us in the loop, was just that the show was too good to just disappear. Yeah. And I know that there are so many great shows and people have lots of opportunities to watch all kinds of things, but our show is really unique. And as a um, fan base. And it has a fan base. And I think that also the exposure on Netflix will be really great because yes. it'll be exposed to so many more people. Netflix yeah. is yeah. everywhere. And guess what? Not for nothing. The music is really good. Thank you. So you, I've read that you fantasized about being a pop star and now you're playing one on TV. Well, who doesn't Explain. fantasize about being a pop star? Right. Um, I know. It's really incredible. And to be alongside Sarah Bareilles and Renee Elise Goldsberry, who have just the most incredible voices. And um, and then Jeff Richmond writes the music and yeah. he's, uh, you know, Tina's husband, husband, husband and yeah. he did the Mean Girls musical as well. And Sarah writes some of the music. We really have the best crew. So fa fans of 30 Rock and Tina Fey will hear Tina Fey's voice yes. and a lot of the humor. It is so, so funny. Yes. She's one of your comedy heroes going yes. in, right? Yeah. Uh, but working with her was like what? How you imagined, not how you imagined? Working with Tina has been a dream. Um, I, you know, sort of, I, I don't know how I won this lottery that I'm in her phone and she calls me and <laughs> asks me to be in her movies and TV shows at this point. But I will always answer, and I will 100% always say yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's incredible. Yeah. So she's, what? you know, Tina's a quieter talker than most people. Really? Uh, so, you know, a lot of people are like, "What was it like working with your hero?" And I'm like, I had to listen. Uh, I had to listen more closely. She <laughs> oh. talks quieter than. <laughs> you she's think. not a joke a minute. She's a very, very smart, thoughtful person. She's, yeah. yeah, she's really smart yeah. and thoughtful, and she's been a really great friend to me. Mm -hmm. And um, I get that. And she's just the best. And, and I love how she empowers women um, yes. constantly. And that's one of the themes of this show. Um, and your, your career is, is a testament of that. It's someone who came in, has worked hard, has established themselves. What advice do you give to a young woman who is attempting to get into this industry, which at time can meet sexism, resistance, um, something that you have Just spoken not about? Nice. Yeah. Um, I think that it can mean that in every industry uh, when you're a woman. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that my advice is probably always going to be the same, Gail, I don't know about you. But I think that the more that you can remember to lean into who you are mm. and, uh, and really be in touch with your intuition about what is right and what feels not okay, yeah. and, uh, and not be afraid to stand up for yourself, it's difficult. It's yeah. not an easy it road for anyone. Yeah. But I find it, if always you can be true to yourself, Good things will follow. Yes. Yeah. I want to talk about white chicks for something okay. for a minute because okay. that was a the, cult the movie classic. Or just <laughs> the movie. <laughs> Sorry. Tony has a very unique sense of humor. <laughs> white chick. But but let's talk about white chicks because it certainly has become a cult classic. But yeah. I read you went through a stage where you're like, uh, I don't want to talk about it. And now do you feel differently? Well, it's so funny because yeah, I just I was saying that when it first came out. You know, the response was really not positive in terms of reviews, and people were like, oh, you were in White Chicks. It was, at the time, <laughs> yeah. not cool. Uh -huh. for, and I was so excited to be in the movie and work with the weigh-ins, and we yes. had the best time. And then I felt really sort of like, oh, this didn't turn out the way that I thought it was going to. Now. And now. And now. Cut two. Yes. The last, I would say like the last 
decade at least, maybe a little bit longer. It is the thing that I get recognized for the most. Wow. That people wow. have the strongest feeling about, I mean, I've done a lot of really amazing projects, mm -hmm. but I would say that at least once a week, someone is like- Reciting lines. Reciting yes. lines. You don't understand what that movie meant to me. My brothers and sisters and I, when we get back together, we still watch it. And it's our Christmas two, movie. Like, black, I mean- <laughs> Black and white folks, black by the way. Oh yes, a hundred Now you've got two daughters. What do they think about you <laughs> and what you do? They are not interested at all. Like, I'm not even kidding. They have no interest. They don't want to watch me in anything. <laughs> Although, I will say, like, they do sometimes have to deal with people coming up to me and yeah. asking yeah. me about roles. But then they get to meet Olivia Rodrigo. Yeah, there you and go. And then I'm like, yeah. you know what, guys? Mom is cool. Yeah. Mom is cool. That's, That's Busy when we Phillips. Deliver. What's the name on your birth certificate? I think Busy is such a cool name. It's Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. You were a busy, busy baby. Because I was a busy baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And guess what? You're still busy. Still busy. Here for you. Cheering still you on. It. Always Love Busy it. Phillips. Cheering you on. You can watch the season three premiere of Girls 5 Eva, starring four girls, on March 14th on Netflix.